remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, issued a stumbling, incoherent, and at times outright fictitious re-election rally address in which he complained about a dog's media coverage and appeared to approve calls to imprison Hillary Clinton. The dark, grievance-filled speech to supporters delivered at the Arizona Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Arizona was followed by a tweet which appeared to suggest he may pardon convicted friend and former advisor Roger Stone. It came just a day after Trump, apparently emboldened by his impeachment acquittal, pardoned a host of white-collar criminals, many with personal connections to his donors and supporters. Having falsely accused Democrats of attempting through impeachment to poison our democracy and overthrow our entire system of government, Trump moved on to Conan, the military dog, who was wounded during the Navy SEAL raid, which killed an ISIS leader. He spoke in third person and said Conan got more publicity than President Trump. That's okay. <laughs> Echoing his repeated musing about serving more than the constitutionally enforced limit of two terms as president, Trump complained about crooked politicians had really took away three years from us due to the investigations into his campaign links with Russia and the impeachment inquiry into his attempt to pressure Ukraine into investigating his political rivals. Both probes uncovered multiple instances of wrongdoing by either Trump himself or members of his 2016 election campaign. Midway through his speech, chants of lock her up erupted among his supporters after he gloated about beating Clinton in the 2016 election. Crooked Hillary spent at least three times more than we did and lost. <laughs> and he gave a thumbs up to the chance. <laughs> crooked as hell, she's crooked as hell. <laughs> then he moved on to criticize Obama's administration and former senior law enforcement officials who were involved in the FBI probes into his campaign. He said there's lots of dishonest slime balls out there dishonest scums, dirty cops, lots of dirty cops. The ones on top are complete scum. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. This dude really do read his own press clippings. He compared the attention that he was getting as president of the United States to a dog. This dude is the ultimate narcissist. He is slow up top. His elevator don't go all the way up. His bread ain't done. His cheese has slipped off his omelet. Something is wrong with that dude, man. How did we get here? Have y'all had enough of him yet? No, you haven't. Because the people who supported him then it for the long haul. It just amazes me that this is how I know it doesn't matter if you have an education. Because if you send a fool to school to get an education, he's going to come back an educated fool. This is how you know. I know so many people who have educations who follow that dude. Now, I don't know if they stole those educations like Trump did or did they actually sit there and earn them. In any event, they got degrees and they follow Trump and they actually believe in him. At the same time, they will acknowledge that he ain't got it all. They'll tell you that, oh man, they cringe when he talks a lot. They cringe. Now, anything got to do with building the wall and what, what, pretty much anything got to do with helping anybody other than people that look like him. Uh, they ain't got no problem with that, but what they have a problem with is how he says it, right? Uh, 
He is saying what they say in private. And that's the thing that's cringeworthy. You did like the liberals, you know, the Democrats, you know, they say a lot of the same. They say the same thing that the Republicans say, but they're just not as, should I say, bold with it. Right. The Republicans and the Democrats are the same people. The Republicans are just the rude people. They live on the same roof. They're raised, got the same mom and daddy. But one is just rude. But they operate the same way. They are their mother's and father's children. They operate exactly the same way. Because this whole political thing is about power. That's why you have people like Michael Bloomberg who jumped ship from the Republican Party because uh, Bloomberg was a Republican. He served as a Republican as, as mayor of New York City. He was a Republican. Now he's running on the Democratic ticket. You know why? Because he knows he can't win on the Republican. Nobody's going to knock Trump out on the Republican side. Bloomberg knows he's an old man, and this will probably be his last chance to etch his name in the books as the president of the United States, and he's taking his shot as a Democrat. Bloomberg has already spent, last I checked, in the neighborhood of $300 million on trying to buy the election. <laughs> Trump's presidency should come with a warning label that says, for entertainment purposes only. The do is a clown. This dude, I knew he was going to bring the jokes once he became president because he was a joke already. But man, I, 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 I didn't know it would be that frequent. I knew it would be like, you know, a couple jokes, you know, a couple clown stuff every couple days or something. But I didn't know it was going to be every day consistently. Like before you can even cover one thing, he done done something else. He said something else. Like, just constantly, like, we're talking like, you know, anywhere from five to ten violations every single day. Can't keep up with him. He's gone on a pardon spree where he's letting all of his buddies go. Like, it don't matter what they did. Kill somebody, you get a pardon. You get a pardon. You get a pardon. You get a pardon. And many of these pardons, watch me, family, many of these pardons are to allow these people that he's letting out back in because they're his friends so they can get back to work on helping him rape and pillage the country. But it's also to serve notice to, to all others who are who could be co-conspirators for him. He's letting them know, you have nothing to worry about. If you get caught, you know, I'm a part of you. Ha, ha, ha. Go ahead and tell that lie. Go ahead and extort. Go ahead and commit treason. Whatever you want to do. You can kill somebody. I'm going to pardon you. You can kill somebody for me. I'm going to pardon you. Whatever you do. I'm going to pardon you. That's what that serves. As, and it also serves as uh, notice to his enemies. You can call us out. You can drag my people into a courtroom and all that stuff all you want. You can convict them, send them to prison. But I am going to use my authority, my executive authority as president, to grant them a pardon. Bet you anything that Roger Stone be at the next Trump rally as a special guest. He may even walk away with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.